some of the smaller stores had really intriguing causes and it was really interesting as I went to sort of see just how many organizations are helped through dollars that are raised from secondhand goods and that was really eye-opening to me I've been a lifelong thrifter and I've always thought oh you know thrifting helps people but it doesn't only help people it helps you know no kill shelters for dogs and cats it uh, helps hospitals it you know Native American reservations like there's just all these other entities that I never even thought about I couldn't have done this without a goodwill B social media C like everyone spreading the word you know it was just like a crazy little idea and when I got behind the seat of the RV the first couple of days, I thought, man, you know, be careful what you wish for. Now I really have to do this. It really opened my eyes to a lot of secondhand stuff. It really got me out of my comfort zone too. And um, I think maybe that's what people kind of liked about it is because it's sort of a dream project, but it's sort of intimidating to, to put yourself out like that. The goals were to sort of bring attention to thrift store shopping and economic and environmental incentives to do so even among the friends that I visited as I went along the way they were like wow you know this really I think I might go to a thrift store now so I, I really did feel like it just even from my immediate circle there was a difference made there were a couple points where I just kind of put out in the blog or on Facebook or Twitter hey I'm really strapped here <laughs> and I might have to cut the trip short and I really hate to do that and People just came out of the woodwork. People that had already donated, donated more. Um, one gentleman that donated a pretty good chunk during the initial fundraiser uh, donated three more good chunks. And really, w without that, I, I probably couldn't have gotten through it. But every little penny helped. It was, it was a real push to get there with the money I had. So now I'm, I'm up to 39 total, and I have 11 left to sort of knock out before I can really feel like the project is complete. I'm thinking about maybe putting together like a little book of existing work to just to promote the project a little bit more and maybe help fundraise to finish it. Also hoping to put out a press release to sort of get some media attention on the existing body of work as well in hopes that I could get donations through that visibility to finish it. Really my focus right now just in the weeks after the trip is getting back on my feet and being able to pay my rent again. I, I'm hoping the sooner I can finish it the better but I really just don't feel in my mind it will be complete unless all 50 are finished.